friends. Welcome. Check it out. The fly trap picture is coming along. <laughs> Welcome back to Vivid Buffalo Studios. My name is Angela Miklas and I'm an owner of Vivid Buffalo. And I'm excited. It's Friday Eve and it's Yoga Brunch Eve. So I'm going to crack into my yoga book tonight and eat some Indian food and plan and put together a really cool playlist and teach yoga at Riverworks first thing in the morning. So like I'm super excited about my evening and I'm super excited about tomorrow morning and I can't wait to see you all there. And um, I mean, it's just overwhelming to be practicing together. Like for me, it was just, I started practicing back in the studio last summer and it wasn't for me. I just, um, I didn't want to practice in a mask and there was different levels of anxiety with like new process and procedure. And I just, I wasn't ready for it. And then I started going back to the studio in the fall and practicing with people and it started to open me up in a way that was just, I needed it. <laughs> I needed it after all that time of being out of the studio and not taking time to recognize how that was impacting me. Um, it's a double-edged sword because I want to be able to have a standalone practice and I do and I love that um, but there's something to practicing with people for me and then taking it to the next level which is teaching yoga so guiding a group through the practice practicing alongside suggesting um, it just it's connecting on that whole next level and to be able to do it in such a beautiful space as Riverworks and have that opportunity when it is uh, right before they open, it is a quiet space. I know that there was something going on last weekend that totally would never happen again <laughs> where we would have that level of noise, um, but it's a quiet space. It's a beautiful space where um, you can see the water out some windows. You can look out and see all the amazing structures out others. And um, it's heated. The audio is really cool. It's just, there's something about practicing there that really speaks to me too. So combining all of that, I am just, I'm a happy kid. <laughs> I get to have a really good evening with good Indian food and teach yoga tomorrow morning. And thank you all who are going to come out and join me and just get out to Riverworks anyway. Um, go have some good food. Um, you know, we're actually pairing a lot of our events with food. At least we have plans for that going forward. Um, the first yoga brunch was really great. A lot of times when you are coming to the art classes, people are ordering individual things anyway, but we really like the idea, like with yoga brunch, um, we are offering four like healthy options and um, that's included in your ticket price, so that could just be part of the experience. So we're looking at that for other events in the future. Um, we've got a lot up our sleeve, and I'm super excited that we're able to do that and connect with people again. Um, so we've got that going on. Our retail will be there tomorrow. Um, I have retail goals this week. I've been saying it all week. The week is getting tight. <laughs> so um, it, that's what happens when, so between like having a business and having hobbies and four-year-old and amazing pets and, um, you know, this business is my passion. This business is my heart as are all of these other things. So my heart is super full. And there's a lot going on. And, you know, the retail is a big part of our business. And um, I'm excited because I get to work directly on the designs for that. 
given my bandwidth. I've given myself a deadline. I would like to have something to you by the week's end. New design. Uh, but you can see all of the things that we've designed so far at Buffalo NY Spirit. And maybe I'll have a new color palette of that. I have something else up my sleeve that I've been talking about with the Butterfly Project. So those things will be coming at you too. Um, I've been posting some um, aerial yoga photos on Instagram, or I will be. Um, that's not something to really share on Facebook so much, but you can feel free if you're interested in looking. Um, check out Mindful Movement Nicholas on Instagram, and I'll post some things there. Um, and I will be doing more aerial yoga shoots in the future, too. That is something... Aerial yoga lit me up in a way that I need to do a lot more of it. And um, the photos are just phenomenal. Um, it gives me the opportunity um, to, practice, to practice with a different kind of lightness, to use gravity in a different way. Um, I just, I love it. And it's, it makes for very beautiful artwork. So um, more to come on that. And um, just super excited to uh, have kicked off that experience and um, know that it's just the beginning and there's so much more to come. Um, so we've got that going on too. I've got that going on too. Um, it's just going to be a really busy, really full weekend. Jeremy's got a lot of super cool art projects going on. Um, murals even that he's going to be doing and planning out of state. Um, you know, working with actually the person who commissioned this um, on a mural out of state. And we'll be announcing those things probably on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you know, to keep up with the social media and our website and all of those things has been... Um, challenging and I would say for his artwork the best places to find what he's got going on would be um, Nicholas Art or Jeremy Nicholas on Facebook and I'll try to keep up with and announce those things too um, but we are just rocking and rolling and you know that's why another reason why the mindful minutes just ended up being such a good idea I love the idea of having an opportunity to just, hey, who's ever listening, whoever cares about what's going on with Vivid Buffalo right now, here's a little video so you know what's going on today. Um, and that way it's just kind of like, you know, a centralized place. I think that's what we're gearing towards is, you know, centralized places for all of these things. Um, and in the meantime, we're just like swimming around and having fun um, in all the different places. And sharing as much as we possibly can, um, being able to take part in the paint night this week and do a reading with a really large, I a nice, I mean, the class sizes have been awesome. You guys are coming out in, um, you know, small groups with your friends and everybody, that's the beauty of Riverworks. Like, you've got your own table with your pod, but you're still creating with a group of people in a beautiful space and our teacher helping out with that. Um, so being, you know, able to take part in that and then right after it, like tomorrow to, you know, hop in and teach a yoga class. Um, those are the things that really bring me joy. And that's what I am super excited to share um, from my perspective. So that's why... Tonight, we'll be reading from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie as a way to set an intention for the evening, to take a minute to ground and breathe and meditate for a minute, um, and just listen through someone else's experience and maybe pull a little bit from that to help with something that you're going through. Um, and that's what I love about this book. And I love to do a reading before one of our classes or before a meditation just to help offer that guidance 
and the awareness of your physical space. It's a really good tool for that. So we'll get into our reading. If you would take some time to ground wherever you are. So maybe it's pressing down through all four corners of your feet or maybe you're grounding through your sit bones and you can even rock a little bit side to side to move that fun stuff away and really press down, moving your pelvis to a neutral space, crown of your head up towards the ceiling, and maybe you've relaxed and you're fully laid out. And you're just allowing gravity to take over and noticing the spaces that are holding tension, taking some time to send your breath to that space and release on your exhale. So starting with grounding, noticing breathing, Noticing your heartbeat. Taking some time in your physical space. Today's reading from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie. Resentments hurt everybody. Resentments only hurt ourselves? Not true. Resentments can hurt others too. When we brood and allow resentments to brew and fester, we send negative, mean, hurtful, spiteful energy to others. The more consciously and vividly we do this, the more pain we can cause everybody. The more bonded we are with others, whether they're business associates, friends, lovers, or family members, the more powerfully our resentments can impact them as well as us. So, if you're busy thinking resentful thoughts about someone close to you on the job or at home, consider the harm you are doing to him or her. The more powerful the emotions connected to these thoughts, and the closer you are to the person, the more damage you can do. You can sabotage the other person. Help keep him or her down. Even if you don't speak your resentments aloud, even if you try to hide the way you feel, the energy is there in the air hurting both of you. Just as we focus on clearing the air, we breathe of toxins. We need to cleanse the air around us at work and at home from the toxic fumes of resentment. Remember when we harbor hate, jealousy, or rage, we connect to others in ways that hurt us as well. Let's set the others free. Let's release our resentments. Along the way, we'll set ourselves and our hearts free too. Set them free first. Let that shit go. All of it. Easier said than, easier said than done. But let that shit go. When you say, but I, say it, 
finish the statement and then let it go. And just keep doing that over and over and over again. Let it come. And then let it go. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to read that aloud because it's not one I would have picked for a yoga class necessarily. And now maybe I would. And I can see a connection because it's really important when those things come up to notice them and let that shit go. Thank you, my friends. I will see a lot of you tomorrow at Yoga Brunch. Woo! I'm excited. Let's do this. Let's yoga. Let's breathe. Let's ground. And kick some butt. And there's tons of wall space if you want to practice handstands. And there's also tons of your own space if you want to just spend the whole time in child's pose. And if you just want to show up tomorrow morning, just show up. We'll make room. So, um, or if you want to plan ahead, you can, I'll include the link in the description. My email's in the description. Check out the description. I think I put a lot of info in there. All right, guys. See you in the morning. Bye.